I've been playing a lot of Cooking Mama lately, but I've always wondered, what would happen if you baked it for a little while? I just need to turn this on and pop it in there for a little bit. Oh no, I totally forgot my DS was in this oven for the past two months. I hope I didn't burn it. Not exactly cooking, Mama, but this could be fun. Hey everyone, it's Game Tim with a pretty long overdue video. I wanted to return from my unplanned hiatus with something a little different than usual though. So today I'm giving my DS a rest and I'm trying out a new cooking game, Battle Chef Brigade. If you haven't heard of it, Battle Chef Brigade is a hybrid side-scrolling brawler match 3 puzzle game that came out last November. I'm finally getting around to playing it and I'm hooked. It's basically Fantasy Top Chef, which really is all I need in a video game. You may have guessed from the intro that I was sent a crazy game-branded Easy Bake Oven from the publisher. Thanks guys! It doesn't have much to do in today's video, but I'll probably attempt something with it in the future. One of the first dishes you encounter in Battle Chef Brigade is the Karana Stomach Maypo Tofu from the family restaurant of the main character. Maypo Tofu is a popular Chinese dish consisting of tofu, vegetables, and minced meat set in a thin spicy sauce. Since I don't exactly have any fantasy plant monsters to harvest for mine, I'll be making the real-world equivalent, Mushroom Maypo Tofu. Here are my substitutions for our high fantasy ingredients. The key ingredient is the stomach and nectar from this crazy flying Venus flytrap. I figured I'd go for something meaty, but I wanted to stay vegetarian, so I'm using shiitake mushrooms. Since we're adding a king bean in the game, let's add some equally important beans to our list. Tofu, fermented broad beans, and black bean paste. Here are some optional greens the game gives you for certain challenges. I'm going to take this chance to add my own helpful food enhancing plants ginger, green onion, and garlic. Our earthen sauce will be a mixture of cooking sake, soy sauce, sugar, sesame oil, and red pepper flakes. And finally, I'll be using olive oil, cornstarch, and Szechuan pepper to help with the cooking. It occurred to me that I've been neglecting the rest of the cooking game genre. You know what, I'll just pepper in the rest of my puns as we go. So let's see if we can make a maple tofu worthy of the brigade. Since I can't get away with cooking match 3 style in my own kitchen, I'll be trying my own take on the actual recipe. I'm going to start by removing the mushroom stems to make 2 cups of a light broth. Astute! Viewers may have already figured out that this will need to simmer for at least 15 minutes before we can strain out the stems and give us a nice karhana nectar. Then dice those mushroom caps and set them aside. Now do the same with the tofu, cutting it into roughly 1 inch cubes. And to finish up the cutting, chop the garlic, onion whites, and slice up a spice worth rooting for ginger. Next we'll prep the earthen sauce. I'm going to stir together some pepper flakes, rice wine, soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar until we have a good base for the aromatic veggies and bean pastes. With that exercise and preparation out of the way, let's take a walk. Add oil and heat on medium heat. Then we'll stir fry the garlic, ginger, and green onions for about a minute or two. Now let's add the chopped mushrooms and continue to stir fry until they're soft. This should only take a few minutes. Since there isn't much room in the wok, let's move everything to the side and decrease the heat to very lightly fry the broad bean and black bean paste for about a minute. This will give it beanormous flavor. Then I'll dump in the mushroom broth and prepared sauce. Next we'll need to gently add the tofu cubes. Don't go toe fooling around and break them apart. Allow this sauce to simmer for about two or three more minutes. To thicken the sauce a little, we'll need to drizzle a cornstarch mixture around the tofu and gently mix it. No need to contemplate how to serve this. After a minute or so, transfer to a platter and top with the green onion greens. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. I've never made vegetarian maple tofu before, but it was actually really easy. Here's the moment of truth though, I'm gonna try a bite. I'm actually kind of surprised. It has the perfect spice and the tofu is flavored throughout. I'm really glad this game has inspired me to try things out of my usual meal rotation. And I could definitely see myself making mushroom maple tofu again. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe, and be sure to comment recipes and cooking games you'd like to see me tackle in the future. I'm playing a bunch of games right now, but don't worry, Cooking Mama is always on the top of my list. See ya!